Hi, I'm Wayne Peterson with Rio Products, and welcome to another episode of Rio's How To Series. Today I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks for fishing for trout during dry, drought like conditions. Probably the first and most important thing to think about is water temperature. Trout prefer water temperatures between about 50 and 62 degrees. In the middle to upper 60s and low 70s, it's probably a good idea to quit fishing for trout. So the first thing I always do is use a thermometer and check the water temperature. This water is about 68, so we're not going to fish today. Normally, when I fish this river, I would use a four weight. But when it's hot and the water temperatures are high, it's a good idea to step up your gear to something like this six, a five or six, step it up. And the reason is, with that heavier weight rod, you're gonna be able to land the fish much more rapidly, thus putting less stress on the trout before you release it. The last thing to think about is handling the fish with care. You always wanna get your hands wet before touching the fish. And you wanna use a landing net with a rubber bag like this, not one of the old school rope bags, because those rope bags are kind of like sandpaper to a trout's skin. Something to keep in mind is trying to fish early in the morning or late in the evening because the water temperatures are usually a little cooler than the middle of the day like this. You can also go up in elevation because the higher you get in elevation, generally you're closer to the springs and the water temperature is also lower. You can also go to tailwaters below dams if those are bottom flow dams instead of top flow dams because when they're bottom flow they're going to be pulling colder water off the bottom of the reservoir. So now I'm at a tailwater. It's early in the morning. I've checked the water temperature. It's in the low 60s. But another important step to not stressing out the fish is either debarbing your fly or using barbless hooks. So this is a barb. This fly is barbed. So I'm going to take my hemostats and debarb it by pressing down what that's going to do is it's going to make it a lot easier to release the fish without tearing a bigger hole in their lip or mouth. Now let's go fishing. Trout breathe oxygen, but the oxygen they breathe is dissolved oxygen in the water. As the water temperatures increase, that dissolved oxygen decreases. At about six parts per million, trout become stressed, feeding and predator avoidance become difficult, but at four parts per million, trout start to die. Even fishing a tailwater, as the day progresses and the air and water get warmer, the fish get less active. This is a prime opportunity for me to head up to a higher elevation where there's a cold water creek. If you do hook a fish, you want to play them quickly. Get them to your net as soon as you can trying to keep them wet the entire time. And remember, you want to use a net with a rubber bag. So I'm using a barbless fly, and as I got to the net and I took the pressure off, the fly just came right out. I don't even have to remove it. One of the most important things to remember is always get your hand wet before you touch a fish if you need to remove the fly or handle it in any way. So it's important as you release the fish to position its head upstream so that the water can flush over its gills. As you just gently hold the fish, you'll notice when it kicks to out of your hand and swims away. That's how you know that it's revived and ready to go. So I started out the day fishing one of my favorite fish, or trying to fish one of my favorite fisheries, but the water was just way too hot. I moved to a tailwater but in this kind of weather, there just really wasn't much happening. So I came up to a higher elevation, colder water creek, and I'm happy to just get one fish because you don't need to catch every fish in the river. Thanks for watching.